Hey everybody, welcome to part two to the What If Rocksteady Made uh, Gotham Knights. <laughs> okay, so this video is taking me a while to get out. I'm using Share Factory to edit it, so this way you'll have gameplay on screen this time around. So, hooray! Uh, the first character I want to talk about, because uh, this will be split into two parts. Um, and then the fourth one will be story, um, will be gameplay. The first character I want to talk about is Red Hood. Um, Red Hood is interesting in Arkham Knight. He's not as streamlined as I would have loved him to be, and all that, but hey, you know, you can't have it all. But with this game, I think we're gonna make him kind of come into his own to a certain extent and also give him his own distinct gadgets because I feel like there was a missed opportunity to give him his own you know sense of gadgets because he really only has a flashbang his pistols and the uh... Bat claw, which he uses like Robin, uh, Tim Drake Robin, which is all right, I guess. But eh. I'm surprised they don't give him a explosive gel. But then again, <laughs> regardless. So we'll be kind of taking some liberties from the original Gotham Knights with this gameplay, but taking out the more stupid stuff, <laughs> obviously because it didn't make much sense to begin with, so why keep it? <laughs> so, yeah. So what's going to be done is we're going to make his guns more customizable in a certain extent, like he can use them for different stuff. So if he's using the sniper, or he's in a more sniping position, he doesn't automatically he doesn't just go to a normal like he does with his regular guns. That's something that always bothered me and it didn't make much sense and it kind of seemed lazy in a certain extent. I want him to feel like he can use his guns and it's been proven that he can basically take his two pistols and make them into a sniper, which is actually pretty cool. The thing is, he doesn't really use it as such. So, I kind of want to uh, give that basically, um, give it that room to do it. So, you basically have more deadly maneuverability and also more variety with his weapons and the way he uses them. So, for instance, if you are on a perch and you zoom in and lock on an enemy, it'll kind of be treated similar to how the disruptor worked in a certain extent, but not completely. Um, and to be honest, it makes the most sense for Red Hood's character to be very deadly and stuff, so this will be like a point where he's going from killing, but maybe throughout the story he starts becoming less lethal as he, because it kind of causes a conflict with the Bat family, especially with Dick Grayson, but regardless, ow, sorry, <laughs> his normal combat we can probably keep the same. Add some ad added additions. Um, maybe you could give him ninja stars. Who really knows? I know that I personally think he needs to have his own set of gadgets and treat him more like <laughs> um, like similar to the Mandalorian and Disney Plus. Just kind of make him, you know. 
like one deadly badass. Now, his kind of arc in the story and how his relationship with the Bat family will be, we'll save that for the story video. Um, I was trying to research into cut mechanics for Red Hood. I, I know there was a lot of stuff involving his guns that was cut, um, which I personally would have loved to see. If anything, I can't really think of a whole lot of new mechanics for Red Hood because it's very hard to think of new, brand new gadgets and brand new stuff for him that fits with his character um, <laughs> and works. So, if you guys can think of anything, let me know down in the comments. Heck, even uh, draw up some fan art if you can for like gadgets and different ideas. If you can come up with anything, tag me. I'll love to see it. Um, I might even try to feature it in the next video and give a shout out. Um, I will say that I did think of a few th things that would work for Red Hood being his enemy types that he has to fight because something I want to focus on with this is that now that Batman's gone each knight has a different gameplay style they're not just a version of Batman in a certain extent I want something I kind of liked that I want to really do is to have each of the knights have a different gameplay style, but play similarly, but completely different in every sense of the word. <laughs> Even the enemy types that they have to fight are tailor designed to <laughs> basically be pretty much their opposite. I will say for traversal red hood with his boots there's many little rocket booster things so we kind of could have a similar um what is it called um a similar thing to uh they well, how they had it in gotham knights but personally taking out the whole lazarus thing like he basically his uh, his um, rocket boots kind of are similar to they kind of you know the stylus uh, they're kind of tied to a meter um, in your traversal at least how I can see it you know the more parkour and the more you kind of you know flip around make your way through a city the faster you go builds up more kinetic charge to these boots and you can boost and go faster so kind of like how you can use the electricity stored up from your doing tricks in your um, bar from Miles Morales to boost and go up um, and jump higher and then go back into swinging so it's kind of would be a similar system for, but also, going back to enemy types for Red Hood, the enemies I would focus on are more tailored designed to be counters to his more aggressive and deadlier moveset. So, heavier armor, but the downside is they're slower, um, and also can be bulletproof. Then you could bring back, well... They'd be slightly different for Red Hood compared to Nightwing, but the martial artists from uh, Arkham Origins, <laughs> which makes the most sense because they're more hand-to-hand -hand focused, um, but kind of armored. So you kind of get a sense of a interesting thing. Also, I would like to bring back the armored big guys from uh, <laughs> Argamordans as well, and also the uh, 
adaptable guys from uh, <laughs> Arkham Knight Red Hood because um, I think those type of enemies make sense for his character and you have to like wear them down and then you can get in there and shoot them <laughs> which makes the most sense and because Red Hood is very gun focused you know we could even have enemies that use different types of guns not just snipers and shotguns like I actually want to see more than a boss fight character use like a grenade launcher or uh, do something that Spider-Man uh, PS4 did where you have like certain enemies like with bazookas <laughs> oh, sorry um, if my voice cracks in a little bit of the recording it's also just because I've been my back has not it, it got better and then now and I wake up in the next morning it gets back to being worse <laughs> so yeah uh, just a heads up um, so um, let's see how I could see Red Hood's gameplay going is just kind of taking the foundation that we had in Arkham Knight, but slightly tweaking it. Also taking um, some of the stuff that worked in Gotham Knights. Uh, I don't have any gameplay for that because I don't own the game. Um, and make that, like, tweak it and make it work. I'm sure Rocksteady could easily do it because <laughs> for Christ's sake it works um, I also want to give each night a definitive like they when they do an environmental takedown because I want to keep those I want the environmental takedowns to be different for each night and I also want them to be there should be more of them because personally I think that there's a lot of ways you could do it <laughs> and tweak uh, each one and even giving more different ones besides like pulling a lamp down on an enemy or putting an enemy in a fuse box or putting them in a lamp thing um, I think there could be more to like basically you know maybe put one uh, against a fence and then like you can that ties them, like, accidentally put their hands through it and get them stuck or something, or, uh, if you guys can think of anything, uh, let me know. Um, uh, yeah. If you guys can think of any different other environmental takedowns, let me know. I will be keeping the more basic enemies that we've have a foundation of from Arkham knives, stun sticks, all that jazz. Pretty much gonna say the same. I was thinking of some new, brand new enemy types for each night, and also variations of the Talon enemies for each night, which they have to they tailor design for their gameplay, <laughs> which works. <laughs> but yeah, um, so pretty much, yeah, but, uh, let me think, I'm, I'm just looking at my notes here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's really about it, uh, on Red Hood, because there's not a whole lot I could, I could think of new stuff for, um, I think I'll, I'll I'll talk a little bit more about his stealth, but I really don't have a whole lot. Um, I want to give him more like military esque removability, uh, movability, um, especially how he can take enemies out, pull a little bit from Cold War and stuff, and and military style the way he was as Arkham Knight. So. Pretty much, you know, he could rely on his own tactically taking out. I don't know why his sniper does not have a silencer. 
makes the most sense in stealth, but whatever. Um, he can still take out enemies the same way Batman and them could, but he cannot do a fear multi takedown. But he could do a variation of it, maybe doing it with his guns. I don't really know. Um, which kind of works, I guess. <laughs> which I don't really know. Um, I will say maybe there is like you could do have a gadget that's kind of like a Robin's. Uh, flashbang, but it's basically a tactical mine, um, where you can basically be like the mine enemies from uh, Arkham Knight and Arkham City, where you can basically sneak up on certain enemies, put a mine on them, and sometimes other enemies are like, hey, what's that on your back? And then like, we, like stay still, and they can always remove it, or you can detonate it early and blow them up. <laughs> Which obviously could will hurt the uh, hurt them, or you can tactically put them on the floor, you know, or put them in certain places. And it, knowing Jason, he will recycle the uh, sonic battering, I believe it's called, uh, from Arkham. I don't really know, because Batman used it a lot <laughs> with uh, Arkham City. And I think it was an Arkham Asylum too, but um, but basically he could you could upgrade this uh, mine technology, and it could be like up to five or six or ten, um, and basically you can upgrade it to where it could basically create like uh, little noises to lure enemies, kind of like how with the MJ lures and Marvel Spider-Man. But yeah, other than that, really can't think of a whole lot of new gadgets for stealth. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let me think. Um, <coughs> um sorry. Let's talk about Nightwing for a second, too. Um, which is probably going to be one of the characters that's going to be hard to really talk about. His gameplay. Because, for one, what they had in Arkham Knight in Arkham City was pretty good. I don't know why they removed one of Nightwing's more stealthy gadgets, which was pretty cool. They could have upgraded it, customized it, made it make sense. There are people that modded it back into the game, which, bravo. Um, but I'm going to be bringing it back and keeping some of the gadgets he already had, like the voice synthesizer, um, his electric thing remote electrical charge and the ground pound which huh, obviously makes the most sense to give him and let him or basically let him keep it um i can't really think of a whole lot of new gadgets but we will be bringing back one of his old ones which is the darts which you have the option besides giving him the disruptor too you have the option to basically either it'll start you off in like third person the way you look when you're regularly doing things and his hand will be moved up but it'll be closer so think of it like Legend Evil 4's camera um, and then when you push the zoom in button it goes from the more fisty look from almost first person and you can uh, have better targeting and you can cycle through what type of darts you want to use. Um, if you want to, to, you can strategize and you have more than one dart. Like, 
it's not going to be if like three or something. You'll have access to seven darts or nine if you're. You can upgrade it to ten, but the more you use, if you want to knock out somebody, if you want a perfect knockout, you have to aim for the back of the head, which is extremely difficult, and that, that's something I did like with Arkham City. But if you want to take them out and, like, they will slowly get basically knocked out the more you sting them regularly. So if you focus on one enemy and sting him with regular darts, doesn't matter where you aim, like, slowly they'll just knock out themselves. Like, basically they'll just, like... Uh, like, the, even through dialogue, like, is everything okay? The other d t t n uh, thugs will notice, and then, like, eventually, you sting them enough times with the dart, they'll get knocked out. Um, something else you could also do, which makes the most sense, is you can also, f when you switch between darts, which I briefly mentioned, the different darts you could basically use is knockout, hallucination, and energy. Or basically there's probably one other one you could have, maybe it'd be uh basically nanites, which or whatever. Something that could mess with the different enemies, like make them more success uh successful to whatever I can't pronounce that word right now um, to different attacks like in the environment so like mess with their systems like make them more successful to uh, electricity or something who knows but switching through darts is kind of like this kind of took a little bit of inspiration from Ghost of Shizima uh, which I was playing just a little bit of, <laughs> uh, a little bit before recording this, and I was like, huh, why couldn't they do something like that for Nightwing? And I think that makes the most sense, like, they could basically apply that to his stealth, and, you know, I can't really think of a whole lot of new gadgets. I know that traversal-wise... We could probably give him, like, similar to Marvel Spider-Man <laughs> uh, 2 with the whole web wings thing. He basically can glide and stuff, and he's more acrobatic, so making it his system more based around flipping around, parkour, even his combat. I really think that one of the po more positive things, something that even... <laughs> J reviews the, the neglected dimension that I think was pretty cool for uh, Gotham Knights is they made Nightwing's combat a little bit more acrobatic, not as acrobatic as I would liked, but we're gonna kind of fix that with this. So this version of Nightwing, will, his combat will be similar in aspect to Arkham Knight, but. We're kind of going to change up some stuff. Obviously, we're going to make it him more to where he'll be able to flip around. He can actually jump off of enemies and or get enemies up into the air, which was something that I really wish they would have did or focused on. It was something that really bothered me <laughs> with his combat. Um... Also, we will give him his own unique, cool puzzles. Maybe something... I did pull this idea from LEGO Marvel Superheroes 2, I think? It's either 2 or 1. But, basically, he can... Like, a, a puzzle that you have to reflect your baton sticks off of certain objects, and then they'll, uh... Basically, you know, uh... Then, kind of similar to the remote electrical, not remote electrical charge, the remote the remote battering puzzle in Arkham City, how you have to glide it and control it, and then then knock it into the button. Well, imagine having to kind of mix that with uh, the having to have the right angle 
uh, thing. Kind of like the uh, axe puzzles in God of War Ragnarok and Alfheim. Kind of mixing that. At least how I see it in my head. Um, but more about Nightwing's combat. Personally, how I see his combat working a little bit more of uh, is basically he will be more acrobatic to where not just your normal, the way you fight as him in Arkham Knight. Like, yeah, he, like, he can flip around and stuff, but I don't think he, they really push that side to him as I was hoping they would. So, like, imagine, you know, sliding under an enemy, but holding down a certain button, then he kicks them up into the air, then you could push your, uh, a different, like, square, then jump after them, grab them, you can beat on them, then jump off of them and jump onto another enemy, or jump down onto an enemy and, and you know, kind of pulling up this, uh, Kind of like that clip from Marvel Spider-Man 2's gameplay trailer, uh, where he slides under an enemy after knocking them into the air and then beating on them and then taking them down. Kind of like that. Um, how I picture Nightwing's gameplay is like more mixture of like what we had in Arkham Knight, mixing that with Spider-Man uh, acrobatics and stuff, and what we already had with Gotham Knights, just a smidge. Uh, we will give Nightwing his own, like, some new take, like, new takedowns, uh, some new, uh, combo moves, um, enemy types, uh, we could give him, like, ninjas and different acrobatic type enemies, uh, like I said earlier in the video, a version of the martial artist does kind of work for Nightwing, so just less armor and more flexibility, so that kind of works. Um... I think. Sorry. <laughs> um... There's not really a whole lot that I can think of enemy type-wise, if you guys can come up with anything. I did think of an enemy type where they would have a special piece of armor, uh, that's the more Nightwing tries to uh, electrocute them, the, m the stronger their armor and the tougher they are. Um, so... We lost the big guy. Basically, they uh, become more... So uh, like, they can release this shockwave. It's kind of like that scene with Adam from uh, Lab Rats where he just like he charges up and then releases this, this big blast well imagine something like that but for a normal enemy the the more electrical charge they get uh, where they can get it from other enemies kind of like how uh, the uh, how the medics could give uh, certain regular enemies a temporary electric charge where you couldn't hit them well, imagine something like that, but more powerful. Like, they, you can't just uh, remote back claw them and pull them towards you and not take that electricity out of the equation. Uh, you actually have to strategize and not attack them with electricity, with, especially with, uh, like with, even with your regular combos. So you have to rely on different style attacks, uh, and also like uh other stuff to really you know get things out of the way um and you also have to make sure sorry <laughs> just a bit tired um these stun stick enemies don't go over and jolt them because if they do, that gives them more energy, and then, like, they're right back into the fight. Um, so, that adds a new layer of strategy. I would have to, in part two of the combat, this combat video, I might draw up some concept art of what I mean. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot I can think of on Nightwing, so let's move on to Robin. More specifically, Tim Drake. <laughs> okay, so Tim 
will kind of be the same as he is in Arkham Knight. I can't think of a whole lot of new gadgets at the moment. If you guys can come up with anything, anything at all, uh, let me know. Design-wise, we'll take some liberties and make him more Red Robin, uh, because it makes the most sense, to be honest. I can't really think of a reason not to, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, I'll say that it probably we can keep like pretty much all the gadgets he originally had. We could give him distinct new ones, which is kind of obvious, but I can't even think of many uh, enemy types that are specifically for him, which I don't really know. I think also by now we could kind of give him a little bit of hair, get rid of the buzz cut that he had, because <laughs> I think a lot of people in the Arkham community don't like it. Personally, I don't mind it, but hey, you know, Gotham Knights didn't really have a buzz cut, so why should we keep it here? And plus, it taking a year and a half after Arkham Knight, hmm, makes the most sense. So, what's gonna happen, I guess, for his gameplay is gonna probably stay somewhat the same. Um... We might give him some new, uh, even a special combo, because I think something cool is, like, give him a cape that has, like, special features to it, where they're like Robin Wings, somehow. Um, you know, uh, like, he could, like, temporarily release the, the type of blades out of the cape, or have them c go in a circle around him. Similar to the uh, the Bat Swarm takedown in the Arkham City, maybe I don't really know. I'll have to think on it. Uh, just debatable for right now, but uh, enemy types, not a whole lot I can think of. Not a whole lot of new gameplay changes because there's not even a lot of cut content for Robin, at least gadget-wise or anything else-wise. So that's what makes it harder because sometimes I want to pull from. Uh, unused content because it actually helps uh, at bring, to bring that stuff back but in this case there's really not a whole lot I could pull from so yeah um that's what makes this a whole lot harder I guess we can just kind of keep it up as him being now Red Robin, so he will have like more of like kind of like how Nightwing. A lot of people do not like his cow. Well, guess what? You're gonna have the same thing, but it's gonna be for Robin. <laughs> End the story. Sorry. Um, I will say, I really can't think of a whole lot of. <sighs> we kind of could keep like Robin's enemies are more the normal thug stuff, but I kind of don't want it to be that I don't know because there's so much potential where we can have a bit of fun and also there will be dual team takedowns and also dual co-op gameplay drop in draw drop out co-op as well because I don't want to get rid of that feature it was something I did like with Gotham Knights that they attempted to do it it was actually something that gave me hope that the game would be good just a lot of other stuff that they revealed and a lot of the gameplay stuff I just did not care for uh, a lot of the movement was another thing I guess the I know there's a lot of people who think oh it was not enough like Arkham well those were the same people that complained about Arkham Origins say well, it was too much Arkham so there's kind of like it's it's kind of like you have to have a balance you, you can't, you know, it's hard to do your own thing when you're going to be compared to somebody else. So that's what's so difficult. So, yeah. <laughs> but I can't think of a whole lot for Robin. Um, if you guys can come up with anything, let me know in the comments. And like I said before, you could easily, you know, make your own concept art or fan art. Uh, tag me if you do. 
I'd love to see it. Uh, if you guys can come up with any new gadgets, any new mechanics, any new enemies, anything at all. Love to see it. Yes, yes. Uh, second to last character, I will focus on Barbara later, but I want to talk about Catwoman briefly. Um, her gameplay and traversal will pretty much be the same as Arkham City. Uh, just a little bit faster, and maybe you can kind of pull something from, like, First Light, where, uh, Catwoman can get these little boosts when she, like, kind of like how Fetch, when you, she runs through these, like, certain things, you can basically boost and stuff, go faster. That would be pretty cool, but combat-wise, Catwoman is, like, flexibility, acrobatics, and kicking the ever-living snot out of people. So, <laughs> yeah, um, gadget-wise, again, can't come up with anything, mine's out of blank. There's probably tons of potential, like, we got the cat drops, the, the whip, and the other thing. Can't think of a whole lot. You know, maybe they can give her a specific gadget from the Bat Family made for Catwoman, like, specifically for her, uh, I don't really know, because <laughs> it kind of sucks, I, I want there to be something, but I can't think of anything, um, also, uh, something else, I would like to have more, um, uh, environmental, like, grabbing up, uh, enemies' weapons, uh, besides just bats, sledgehammers, shields, stuff like that, using that on the enemies when they drop them, that would be a pretty cool feature to, like, have more than just one again. Um, more, obviously, more combat takedowns for Catwoman would be pretty cool, some more stealth stuff, uh, more strategies that she can use, because... She doesn't have a whole lot, and I kind of want to fix that for each night, if them to be this distinct and cool to use. To where you're not completely missing Batman when you play as them, which was kind of the tough part to think of much. So, yeah. So, if I'm being honest, <laughs> Robin and Catwoman, I'm rolling on blanks. So if you guys can come up with anything in the comments, please let me know. Tag me if you can come up with anything. Uh, or just mention your ideas in the comments. I will read them. I might even feature them as a highlight in the next video. Uh, and stuff like that. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, speaking of Batman, no, he will not be playable. His role will be similar to how it was in Gotham Knights, uh, the game originally. Um, I think there will be a Batman boss fight, but it'll be more as a hologram for AI challenge if you. And it'll be different for each night. Um, I think that would be cool. I don't. I don't know. I'm still keeping the the League of Assassins as a part of the game. They're not gonna be as they were. Cause I kind of think. I don't know. I would have to figure out a way to rewrite it. And still make it satisfying. So this. That video will take me longer than these gameplay ones. Um, and also, the Unchained video is t is going to come out, but it is not going to be coming out anytime soon. Because I only have like three quarters, not even three quarters, like a, a minute of audio for that recorded. Um, so, and one of it I'm probably going to have to change because I recorded it uh, some, one bit in a bathroom 
and it's very echoey so yeah also uh if you did like this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe all that jazz helps me out personally um if you want to uh, stay tuned for part two to this video because gameplay i had to i wanted to record this in two parts uh and the other one will be differently edited uh and i want to see how well this does so yeah um but if you like my idea let me know down in the comments let me know if you got any of your own I'd love to hear it and till next time peace out everybody and bye bye also i'll let the gameplay record but yeah the video's over <laughs> One last thing, thank you guys for all the support on the channel, really means a lot, and uh, thank you for all the, every positive message I ever get, it always helps me and brings up my day, so yeah, until next time guys, peace out, bye bye.